Madam Web was kind of amazing in a bad way. I should mention, I did go in with extremely low expectations. I expected this to be a movie where I played on my phone for most of it, and I did play on my phone for most of it, but I was also looking up pretty often and laughing my head off at where they were taking the story. But one thing that made me respect the bit is 20 minutes in, they reveal something that I don't believe was in any of the trailers, which is this. The co-worker the lead has, who is played by Adam Scott, is none other than Benjamin Parker, the uncle of Peter Parker, only his nephew has not been born yet. So in fact, this is basically a story about Peter Parker's honorary aunt that we've never heard about before. And that is so insane that I have to respect just how crazy they, they were for trying it. And that made the rest of the film watchable in the way I described. I am your father's brother's nephew's cousin's former roommate. Also, it's set in 2003, but I don't think they mentioned that in the marketing either. But then they showed in the film with, you know, there's a flip phone, and they show Beyonce's Crazy in Love has just come out, and they listen to Britney Spears' Toxic, and all the girls have bare midriffs. And so for reasons that probably just have to do with the Ben Parker thing, they decided to make it a period piece. So yeah, it's truly insane. I would not say this is a conventionally good movie, but I would say in ways it is better than some bad movies. The truly bad movies aren't consistent with themselves. You can see it changing from scene to scene and shifting between people's visions and different versions. And that destroys your faith in the product because even its own creators don't know what they want it to be. But this is consistent about itself. And the film sticks to its dramatic premise and it actually does something kind of interesting with it. And I think even there's a kind of a niche for it as a kind of self-ironic girl power movie. Because three of the leads are teenage girls and they're kind of on the run from a bad guy. A lot of the film is just them sitting around shooting the breeze and saying dumb teenager things. And it kind of gave me super bad vibes or book smart vibes. And I think this was intentional. While a lot of the film is probably not an ideal intentionalized vision, the effect of the goofiness and the awkwardness and self-ironic tone of the movie at large, alongside a generally convincing portrayal of teenagers in a smaller section, is that it ends up being this picture of a very real kind of girl teenageriness and young womanliness that feels even very current. In a kind of millennial Generation Z, I'm being asked to do things I don't know how to do way. Ultimately, it doesn't seem like it's going to matter very much because it didn't make a lot of money and seems like it's just going to be absorbed by the public and then forgotten. But Madam Web, I'd say, is better than a number of bad movies I've seen. And it has more heart and more consistency than even a few good movies I've seen. But it's still very silly and I still wouldn't recommend it to most people. Go see it ironically if you're going to see it.